Hey guys, Dimpo here for another video. And apparently the replays are out, right? As you would have figured out by now, um, PvP is my forte, right? It's my bread and butter. I live for this shit. <laughs> I absolutely love it, right? And um, I haven't even checked out my own fights yet, so let's just go through it and basically walk over the do's and don'ts and final show the end, right? I've done a similar guide in the past, but this video, I just want to see how the, you know, the qualifiers have gone through and what people have done and what people could have done better, right? So, I'll start with myself here. So, I came up against Default Hero here. Default Hero's got a decent team. You know, he's not a pushover by any stretch of the imagination. And also, he's a lot higher level than me. I think I'm level 380 something. He's 406. So, he's got the level advantage on me, right? So, let's watch the fight and see what happened here. So, it was my Bison team against his Bison team, and then, it seems like he, he um, my other two teams essentially mopped the floor with him. So, the reason he first team, his first team won here, it would have been the heals. That is the only saving grace, right? So, he stacked C Viper, MH Can, LA9 Bison. Very strong team. So, let's see where my team went wrong here. I would say my team was too fast and I completely missed the interrupt. And I haven't even seen this fight, so let's see. Yep, so I went first. Okay, so I managed to interrupt there. Nope, not quite. He's, even though it said that I interrupted, his combo went through. I mean, this was always going to be an uphill battle for me, right? I missed my interrupt and he had healing. I didn't. He's got a you know, stronger MH can than mine. If I had heals here, I would have mopped the floor with him, but essentially you only have one healer in Elena and then somewhat of a healer in S Yang, right? So you gotta use your resources very sparingly here. Yep, so the, the healer was a difference maker there, right? MH can is very strong. Oh, apologies, so his MH can is actually weaker than mine. Okay, there you go. So the, the healing was the deciding factor there. If I had a healer, this, that, he wouldn't have won that fight, right? Now let's watch my second fight here. F Blanca, Dalsim, Bizang. That Dalsim is going to get one-tapped once, once Virgil transforms, right? Let's, let's see, so... There you go, he transformed. I'm not taking much damage here at all. And now Virgil is about to pop off. And that's a dead Dalsim, dead Fashion Blanca. And Zangief copped decent whooping as well, right? And then that C3 from Virgil is just absolutely disgusting. In my personal opinion, is if it, if it lands, it's stronger than his super. Because he'll just obliterate whatever he lands onto, right? And then the third team here, he had Akuma, Bizang. He's using his Bizang in tag, which was a big mistake on his end. So he still gets the first hit. Still manages to get the interrupt in. My Lena heals my team there. Look at the damage from Evil Rayu on, on the uh, Able, right? That Able is essentially dead, so his tank is about to is about to die there. Yep, so some healing there. Dead Guile, about to be a dead Able. Because Ryu ignores the shields, right? So he can put all the shields he wants, it's not going to make much difference for me. And this is a GG here, right? He put on a solid team. But it's, it's not good enough. And based on that uh, spinning beast kick that uh, Bizang just did, he must have him up to um, Fighting Spirit 30 as well, which I wouldn't recommend on Bizang because it puts him out of position and gets his ass whooped. Um, so that was my fight, right? Pretty interesting. I'd say that last one was the closest out of all the fights. He, had, he beat me fair and square in the first fight, though. Another interesting one is Akko. So Akko won the, the competition last time around. He beat me in the semi-finals. And he came up against Vix here. So let's see what lineups they used. Apparently Vix changed his lineup team. So 
let's see what team Vix is using here. So he's using Evil Ryu. This is this is almost like a like a mirrored lineup, right? So Echo and this one. This is a very very interesting lineup. MH Ken was always going to <laughs> so interesting enough. So Vix ran the same same combo. I was running with Able there. Anyways, let's watch the first fight. This is an interesting one. I would assume this would be a very close fight. So he's running Iryu opener for the stacks. Iryu goes so well. Oh, and, and a double C3 from Sagat. And now Vix's Iryu is opening up. Alright, interesting. Not having a healer in there, essentially. Oh wow, so... So he managed to kill Vix's Honda and he still lost this. So where was, where was the battle lost? So the healing Akko, seems like Akko needed some healing. Wow, and there he lost his evil Ryu. Yeah, and there, there goes the Raging Demon, right? Wow, that was, that was actually much, much closer than I thought it would be. So that's a pretty decent team by Vix there. Decent team, decent team, not, nonetheless. And then this MH Ken team would have just <laughs> mopped the floor of that F Blanca Chun Li team. Absolutely no chance. It, this should be over in like a flash. Yeah, <laughs> it should be over fairly quickly here. Ooh, that, that MH Ken is getting dangerously close there. I thought this would have been a very one-sided fight, but I stand corrected, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea how Vix managed to win this. She luck of the other bison of his bison exploding. Ooh. Oh, man, Vix should have lost this fight. That came down to the wire. Holy shit. Vix got very, very, very lucky there. His um his MH Ken team got outplayed. I don't know. I feel like MH Ken doesn't hit as hard as he used to. I don't know if they shadow nerfed him or what, but Wow, and his MH Ken is uh upgraded as well i don't know guys let me let me know your thoughts but that was a close fight there Akko, i think should have had that all right so that's that one there there's another good fight in zone three here and that's moreno and berserker so berserker was the reigning champion until the last um <laughs> the last show there where apple beat him and upset him and now uh, this is I think this is the first time he's gone out in the qualifiers so let's see what Marino done here so Bison team against the Virgil team so this is exactly the same lineup I run very 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 effective lineup Interesting, so he was running again assist there. Man, that Akuma just deleted Chun Li. Almost got her, but now now Virgil's gonna finish the job there. So Marino's Akuma is down. And then that Virgil just swoops in, drops two of his DPS, and, and now it's just GG. And Virgil's about to swoop in again. Yeah, that's that C three is disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely disgusting. Very, very, very close fight. Very close. Lucky, <laughs> lucky that transformation just clinched it. If that Virgil was not transformed, that would have been GG. Still impressive. Bison teams usually dominate because Bison is the most broken unit in the game, and that was just wow. Here we'll see MH Can F Blanca lineup. Five star MH can, you know, you, you you would expect big things there. I'm just curious to see if this was close at all, right? So you have Sagat there, F Blanca, 
and he's using Vega for speed, so a very clever lineup nonetheless. So he's using Blanca for cleave there. He's got Elena for for heals. See, he made an error here. This is this is a big error. He should be using Sagat C three, because Vega is is not a, not a, not a good unit, right? I mean that MH can just mop the floor with him, right? No two ways about it. But he should have been using Sagat C three. And Vega, guys, Vega is, is is a waste. Please, do do not go for him. The only thing he brings to the table is speed. He's always caught out with his pants down out of position. He just gets clapped too easily, right? Like, he got deleted that one time. Sagat, though, in my opinion, uh, probably best divination unit you can go for after uh, after um, Bison, right? You saw how, how much punishment he took there and didn't go down, right? And then the last team here... This would have been a this would have been a close fight, I think. Big mistake from Berserk keeping his uh, Bizang intact, though. It's like he didn't learn from his mistake last time around. Yeah, this is gonna be a close fight. Mainly because of the level gap. But that Bison explosion, very strong, very very strong. That Gen is suffering. He's not getting any healing. And also, he's, that Gen is constantly making uh, Moreno's Bison explode. This is a very bad matchup for Berserker. That's why he lost. Very, very bad matchup. So, both players were going in blind. They didn't know each other's lineups because, you know, there was, there was no replays from the prior round. So, yeah. I mean... Bad, bad matchup. Very, very bad matchup. Alright, so that's that one there, guys. So far, you know, we've, we've seen some close matchups. Some interesting upsets, right? If that's what you want to call them. Um, Let's check zone 1, see if anything interesting happens in zone 1. Oh, 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 no, Azrael got knocked out the qualifier. So, Azrael is usually the runner-up where he wins the competition, but... This one, Maiko take, took him out early. So it was like a Echo and Vic situation here, right? Oh, this is interesting. He's using MH Ken as a tank, all right? And then you have... Oh, wow. This is this is this was a mirror lineup. So <laughs> you wouldn't make this shit up if you tried to, right? This is a mirror lineup. Very, very interesting. But then... Virgil here and, and a maxed one at that and he's also got a max Akuma. This this boy is on the well trained pretty hard. So <laughs> Alright, let's let's watch the first fight. <sighs> Look that that Akuma is not doing as much damage as you would expect him to. I wouldn't run him with C Viper. I would run his C1 and his, uh, sorry, his Super and his C1. And I think you get better results because he builds more stacks that way, he does more damage. Um, and also, I mean, Maiko has Saga, I think, so you can just run him in that team and use your Saga to E3, right? But anyways, nonetheless, you got, you got the victory there. And then the mirror team. It's whichever Bizang strikes first is a team that wins. Ready? Watch. It's gonna be as. Ooh, okay. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I stand 100% collected. <laughs> corrected, ladies and gentlemen. I was wrong. So it seems like Micah got the first strike. But then his Bizang got taken out by Iriu's. C3, which is like a... Wow. Wow, uh, Azrael's evil right you there, coming absolutely clutch. Look at that. <sighs> Alright, that was, that was a very um, one-sided sided <laughs> result there. 
And then this fight here, I mean, look, Azrael's got a good team. But some Ibuki and Virgil, that's that's the problem here, right? <clears throat> I don't expect this to be a close fight. I expect they'll seem to get deleted straight away. As soon as the Virgil transforms, that Delsim is dead. Oh my god, that Delsim is is almost dead even even prior to transformation. Guys, Samai Buki, did you see that? She got absolutely deleted straight away. So Virgil does all the heavy lifting. That that Chan will probably get deleted too. So in my personal opinion, look at that. One swoop, Akuma and Dalsim dead. And that is the power of Virgil. And then that C3, as I said, absolutely disgusting. So right now, Bison and Virgil are in, in, in a category of their own, right? Those two are like untouchable at the moment. MH Ken, even post soul updates, I feel like he used to hit a lot harder before the update. Now either a lot of characters may power crept him because of the soul power update, or maybe he just got shadow nerfed. I can't quite put my finger on it. If you guys have him, please let me know what you think. But my personal opinion, I think he got power crept big time. So he's not as... He's viable, he's very viable, he still hits very hard, but he used to be the Virgil before Virgil, right? Anyways guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, I will be doing a character tier list. Let me know your thoughts. This was some very, very, very interesting lineups. I'll, I'll do some more um, research when I have some time. Work's been really, really hard for me lately. I've had, you know, two, two nights in a row and I finished like after 2 a.m., so... <laughs> it's been tough anyways that's it for this one thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content peace